guys and people of the internet, I'm Danny and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing to you 10 tips on how to pass I'm sorry, I'm not super professional and super intelligent, guys. These are just some of the tips that I have realized, I have learned, and I have applied in taking different college entrance tests. So I hope that these simple tips would help you and give you confidence somehow to take those tests. So if you haven't watched my first official video, which is the dorm room tour, um, I'm from UPLB and thankfully I passed. I didn't really expect the mga ko because UP has been my dream university ever since I was a kid because my parents studied in UP Diliman. And ever since I was a kid, I always went to UP and UP. And my parents told me that if you become a UP student, particularly in UP Diliman, you'd experience freedom and you would meet all kinds of people from all walks of life. So ever since bata pa ako, and still gusto ko ako na UP, 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 UP. Yun na yung naging inspiration ko to pass UP. And thankfully, yay! I am a fighting maroon. People, I am a color and a pile. Dika lang yung araw, moody. So kang ilang. Boom! That's right. So for your, like, information, share ko lang ganun. Hashtag share ko lang. I took exams in five universities. First is University of Asia and the Pacific. Second is University of Santo Tomas. Third is Ateneo de Manila University. Um, fourth is Benilde Antipolo. And the last is UP. First, the UAMP, thankfully, I passed. And yun yung pinaka unang exam, yun yung pinaka unang result na lumabas. So, pag lumalabas pala yung results, and feel mo accepted ka, sobrang nakaka. Oh my god, nakaka na. Oh my god, nakaka na. Ganun. Kahit hindi mo siya dream university, like, masaya, masaya sa feeling. So, <clears throat> ayun, share ko lang. Ang lawa is, I took the asset. To be honest, sobrang nahirapan ako doon because sobrang time pressure niya. Tapos ang daming items. So, if you're planning to take asset, good luck, guys. And always just keep in mind yung time nung nagsasagot ako, sagot ako ng sagot. Then, later on, this may items na medyo natagalan ako. Yung prof na nag-handle sa amin, sabi niya, two minutes left. Edi sobrang nag-cram na ako, tapos marami na ako hindi nasagotahan. So sadly, sa batch namin, nung nang nakapasa ng Ateneo. Sorry. Third is Usted. Yun yung first time na nakapag-commute ako ng malayo. And it was fun. Pero sobrang nakapagod din. So doon ko na-realize ako pag nag-aral ako sa UST, araw-araw magpapagod mag-commute, papunta at pabalik. Thankfully, nakapasa ako doon. And my stupid, lazy ass. Self, then check very well the first choice I chose. The first choice ko ng advertising. Iko alam na kailangan pa lang magdrawing. Yung mga si results, the drawing test pa yung mas mataas score ko. What the hell? Baba ng scores ko sa science, math, and English. So hindi ko talaga inakala na ako pa sa ano. Then fourth is Benilde Antipolo. Sakto lang. It's not that hard. It's not that easy. And thankfully, I also passed Benilde Antipolo. And lastly, Upkat. The best na movie schedule na Upkat, and it made me more and more and more and more and more anxious as time passed by. And hopefully, marami ako matulungan sa inyo. First tip: Study hard and aim for good grades starting grade nine. Kasi sa Upkat form nyo, hinihinge yung grades nyo. If I'm not mistaken, grade. 9 to 11. Because when you take the UPCAT, yung grade mo sa UPCAT, 60% lang siya sa pinaka-average grade mo for them to accept you in UP, if I'm not mistaken. So, 40% nun, kukunin nila sa average grades mo starting grade 9 to grade 11. I think that's the reason why nakapasa ko ng UP ah. Because kahit pa paano, hindi naman magbabawa yung grades ko from grade 9 to grade 10. So, feel ko doon nahatak yun. To be honest, sobrang stupid ko sa math. Simpleng computation lang. Sobrang kuku. Ganun. Kaya ako nag-use. If you really want to pass you, do good. Starting grade 9 pa lang. You gotta stack those grades up and build it up so that when you get your UPG, mahatak siya. Tip 
Second is get your reviewers. It doesn't necessarily mean na kailangan nyo mag-enroll sa mga tutorial centers. Pero if, if wala ka talagang ano, like me, tamad ka talaga, wala ka talagang kasipagan and all, mag-enroll ka na lang. Going to review centers is not a necessity, most especially, oh, so, gawa ko to guys, sabaw ko pala nyo Going to review centers is not a necessity, most especially if you're organized and not a lazy person because there are lots of reviewers available online. I'll put the links down below. I made a open folder in Google Drive where nakalagay yung mga reviewers na dinownload ko over the summer. But if you want to go to review centers, I prefer taking it during summer. Because if you take it during school days, sasabay siya sa ACADS mo, most especially when it's already your 12th year in senior high school. Marami ng works dyan, marami ng paperwork. So, pag review center ka pa, during your normal ACAD day, sobrang hassle na nung. If kumuha naman kayo sa summer, meron namang mga refreshers. So, ganun yung mga batchmates ko. Pumalik sila sa review center nila, nung malapit na yung mga entrance exams. So, kahit pa paano, yung mga review nila over the summer, naalala pa rin. Third is study the basics. Reviewers and review centers only give you examples of problems or items that are similar to what would appear in tests, but the tests will give you sobrang different items, sobrang different problems that are math and science. Huwag kayo masyadong tumutok sa isang topic kasi most probably, gugulat kayo, hindi siya lalabas sa entrance tests because items in the entrance tests are very unpredictable. application forms as soon as they're available. Kasi may mga universities that ask for recommendation forms and bibigay mo pa siya sa teachers mo and other teachers, they also have like job to do. So, hindi mo sila pwede pressure in na, ma'am, pwede mamaya na, pwede bukas na. As soon as nalabas na ng university nyo yung application forms, go print it, go fill it up, go give the recommendation forms to your principal, to your teachers, to your guidance counselors. If nag-gram kayo, masistress lang kayo, and masistress din yung teachers nyo. So, ibigay nyo na maaga. Make a schedule. Personally, um, meron akong checklist back when I was in grade 12. I allot time for academic requirements and for review. Pero hindi ako yung taong sobra-sobra nag-review. Only a lot, two to three days per week na mag-review ko yung for entrance test. Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, meron din kayo requirements na kailangan ko win for grade 12. Hindi nyo naman pwede pabayaan yun, diba? Just give enough time na mag-review mga two to three hours, two to three days a week. So I think that's enough na. And I think that you should balance Huwag masyadong, huwag niyo masyadong dibdibin yung entrance tests. Don't review the night before the exam and day of the exam. Itong tip na to, itong tip yung pinakalik mabenta sa lahat ng YouTube video, college entrance test tips. Narealize ko rin yun kasi pag masyado ka nag-review, mag-overthink ka kapag exam na. Yung tipong gabi before the exam, magpupuyal ka pa para mag-review for the next day. E di, paano ka makakapag-isip na maayos kung puyat ka, di ba? So, the day before your exam, stop doing your requirements in school. Stop reviewing. Just, you know, chill. Chill nyo lang mind nyo. Pahinga nyo yung utak nyo para the next day. Marirecall nyo yung mga na-review nyo and all. Kasi hindi ka rin talaga makakapagsagot kapag antok-antok ka during the exam. So, sayang, di ba? Huwag din pala kayo mag-review on the day of the exam kasi mag-overthink kayo. Yung tipong, bago kayo pumasok sa classroom, dala niyo yung handouts yung nag-review ko ayaw. Tapos pag andyan na yung item sa tests, I'm telling you, it's very unpredictable. Pag andyan na yung item, mag-overthink ka, may isip mo na, ay nabasa ko to kanina, ano nga ulit gagawin dito? See, imbes na stock knowledge mo na lang, inisip mo pa na nakita mo siya sa handouts mo. So nag-overthink ka pa, hindi mo pa nasagot na maayos. Ito guys, importante ito. Guys, chill lang kayo. Huwag niyo masyadong dibdibin, I swear. Huwag kayo masyadong ma-stress. Kasi pag na-stress kayo, mas lalang hindi niyo siyang masasagutan. Just inhale and answer the questions without panicking. So, during math and science parts on all the exams, 
hindi na ako nagpaka-stress kasi alam ko hindi ko naman siya masasolve. So, kung hindi nyo na masolve, huwag nyo na akong tilitin. Okay? May parts pala doon, sa English parts. Sobrang haba ng like article or ng story. Basahin nyo muna yung questions after ng story. Tsaka nyo hanapin dun sa story. Kasi lahat ng tests na yan are time pressure. So pag binasa mo yung story, sayang yung oras mo kasi dalawa o tatlong items lang yung nagki-question about the story. So ang ginawa ko, tinignan ko muna yung questions kung kailan ko tinignan yung article or story itself. And nahanap ko naman agad yung answers. Ito, sa upkat, sobrang makatulong ko. Because sa upkat, right minus wrong siya. If you get four wrongs, minus one agad yun sa total score mo sa upkat. Kapag hindi mo talaga kaya, alam mo talaga hindi mo kaya sagutan, na hindi mo kaya isolve, or hindi mo ma-derive yung solutions para makuha ng answer dun sa problem na yun, huwag mo nang, huwag mo nang pagpilitan pa. Kasi hindi na dapat pinagpipilitan pa yung mga bagay na ito. Char! Personally, ako ata yung hindi ko sinagutan sa UPCAT is 14 items. Ano yun? Sa science and math part. Hindi ko na talaga tinry. Sayang lang brain test kakaisip. Huwag kayo masyado mag-mini-mini-mini-mo. And huwag kayo maniwala sa letter C lagi yung sagot kasi hindi naman totoo yun. So kung hindi nyo talaga alam, and kahit pa paano, hindi nyo nakukutuban yung sagot, huwag nyo na sagutan. Pero huwag naman yung kalahati ng UPCAT, hindi nyo na sasagutan. Huwag naman ganun. Ito pala. Um, Hindi kasi considered wrong kapag hindi mo sinagutan. Diba, kunyari, sinagutan mo, 1 to 4. Tapos lahat yun mali. Minus 1 ka dun. Tapos, 5 to 8, hindi mo siya sinagutan, hindi siya magkakonsider as minus 1 point. Kasi nga, wala ka namang sagot. So, binibilang lang nila dun sa right minus wrong is kapag may sinulat ka, tapos mali siya. So, kung wala kang sagot, hindi siya magbabawasan ng fair right minus so, This is the most, 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 most important tip. Last but not least, you guys should pray. Personally, sobrang naka-help siya sa akin in reviewing and calming my nerves and taking away the stress, taking away the panics during, before, and after the exams. Every time I school ako, naalala ko na may entrance test sa akong hukunin. For example, this coming weekend, nagdadasalagad ako sa sabi ko, Lord, guide me, Lord, guide me. Before I take, before I enter classrooms, and before I answer the tests itself, I got this alakos sa sabi ko, Lord guide mo ko. Sana po masagot mo naman ayo, sana di mo panic. Tapos during kapag hindi ko alam yung sagot, lalo na sa ukat, sa sabi ko, Lord kaya na bahala. Lord ano dito yung sagot ko. Tapos lalo na pag mula ko, Lord alin dito. Tapos ko ano na lang yung unang mamataan ng mata ko. Yun na lang. I take it as a sign na ito ba yun. Parang ganun. Tapos after, I always say thank you na kahit pa paano na-survive ko yung test and kahit pa paano hindi ko nag-panic during the test. I don't know. Personally lang. Prayers always help me. So, if you guys wanna have extra help, extra support, extra high guidance in taking your entrance test, don't forget to pray to your God. So that's all. I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if hindi masyadong maraming tips, but I hope na matulungan ko kayo and kahit pa paano nabigyan ko kayo ng useful things that you should remember when you take your entrance tests. Good luck on your college entrance exams and I hope that you ace them. I know you'll ace them. I trust in you guys. Lalo na yung M deficiency dyan. I know you guys will do good. Taas natin ang bandera ng Okay, don't forget to like, click the subscribe button, and if you want, click the bell button, and comment your video requests down below. Share this video, and always remember to keep your head up high and learn from troubles that pass you by. Bye! See you next time!